In this tutorial, I'll show you how to upgrade the concrete wear and tear shader from yesterday. Here are the models from yesterday. We were able to recreate the concrete wear and tear look only by using a node editor. We were using two math nodes to do this, and I have found a better way to give our meshes far more realistic concrete wear and tear look today. Create a new cube and add a new material. We need to have noise texture, color ramp, and displacement nodes. Please match my settings. Please subdivide this mesh with 100 cuts. We need to make this second cube's material unique by pressing the numbered button above. Select displacement and bump. This is the end of the concrete shader tutorial. Please like and subscribe if you have enjoyed watching this tutorial. Thank you for watching.